Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Jana Emil, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Benjamin Young. Dr. Young is the head of global medical directors for Vive Healthcare, a pharmaceutical company focused on advancements in research and development of new medicines for people living with HIV. Could you first start by just telling us a little bit about yourself and your interest in medicine? Sure. So, um, as you said, I'm now the head of global medical directors for Vive Healthcare. But in terms of um, who I am and my interest in medicine, it started many, many years ago. I was, as an undergraduate, um, really undecided about what I wanted to do in life when I grew up. Uh, And and in short, I wound up applying to an MD and PhD program. And in other words, I didn't really know if I wanted to be a clinical doctor or a researcher. So I was fortunate to land a scholarship uh, in a joint doctorate program. And so I really honed my educational background in both basic science uh, and in clinical medicine. And, and really the part of the story is that I've lived my life at the intersections of uh, intellectual and professional domains, uh, whether it's clinical medicine and basic science or clinical medicine and public policy. And I think there's a lot of magic that happens in those areas. But in terms of medicine, you know, I um, was trained as, a, as an enzymologist, a, a biophysicist, and was interested in the evolution of enzymes. And evolution of enzymes is another fancy way of saying drug resistance. I happened to be interested at the time in the drug resistance in in cancer cells, but then something happened in in the United States and around the world, and that was called AIDS. And um, you would have to have a heart of a lump of coal not to understand the human spectrum and burden of of what it meant to uh, to live and die of AIDS. Never mind the in, immense intellectual and academic opportunities to learn something about uh, a virus that was causing huge disease burden. So I became an HIV specialist as as part of a wave of medical scientists who saw this new pandemic uh, arrive and wanting to do something about it. And you know, I imagine you know with our audience right now that's even going to be listening in. What's the advice that you would give to those those students or early healthcare professionals who are you know trying to get in there and do the work? Yeah. So uh, again, a, an immensely important and wonderful question. Always stay yeah. curious because curiosity helps you find innovation on one hand, um, perhaps to invent things. Um, this is an, kind of a, 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 an inter, a, a interesting time to have this conversation because one of my colleagues from graduate school and, and, and my postdoctoral period won the Nobel Prize last, last week. Jennifer Doudna won the Nobel Prize for her discoveries in CRISPR. CRISPR was discovered because she was looking at things that other people really weren't that interested in. And she looked at them in a way that was innovative and different because she was curious. And that curiosity, I think, is an important foundational aspect to everything we do, both in one's academic career, professional career, and and personal life. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.